Hey, Nikki here. And in this video, I am going to cover how to do a curtsy squat and curtsy lunge correctly. What you can do in the setup if it feels a little bit funky to know that you're in the right place, as well as what you can do if a balance is an issue or if you feel like your front ankle doesn't have enough mobility for you to be able to do the exercise well. So real quick, what are the benefits of these two exercises? How do we do them? Uh, the main benefits are it's kind of just like a split squat or a backstepping lunge, except you've got a little bit more turnout. So you're going to work a little bit more of those external rotators in the hips, those little hip stabilizers, as well as some other angles of your glutes. So that's why you might choose this exercise. So of course, there are others if this one doesn't work well for you. Basic setup of this exercise, it can be done with body weight, of course, or it can be done with a dumbbell. You are welcome to hold it at chest tight, goblet squat style in one hand or one dumbbell in each hand. If you are doing the curtsy squat, you're going to have both legs and a little bit of turnout going down and up. You will notice I am static. If I wanted to make this a curtsy lunge, I add a little bit more dynamic movement to it. So as far as setup goes, here is one of my favorite hacks to get into a good position. You do not need to use a yoga block. But if you have knees that don't want to go all the way to the floor, might be helpful. What you can do is find what feels like a good position at the bottom of the movement. So again, front leg's got a little bit of turnout. Make sure you don't overly turn out. You want just enough external rotation that's naturally coming from the hip. And then you want your foot and your knee to be in roughly the same line. And then if you are choosing to use your weight, you can hold it again at chest tight or in one hand. Find your position standing up lowering down. And that which is probably going to be a fairly comfortable position for you to adopt. If balance is an issue, you can still use that little hack I just showed you, but you have the option of holding on to something. And then again, you can hold on while you do the squat or for that curtsy lunge. So both of those totally valid. Finally, what if that front ankle just doesn't have a lot of mobility? You can use a small plate, a wedge, uh, even a sturdy book or a rolled up yoga mat will work for this. Just make sure that it's not going to slide around a bunch on the floor. So you might need to secure it on something like a yoga mat if you're at home and it's a little bit slippery. So what you will do here is whatever the front leg is, you're going to put it your heel on, your toes off. This is going to reduce the amount of turnout that you need. You're going to take your other leg back. Of course, if you need to, you can hold on to something for balance. And then the rest of the exercise is going to be the same. You even could add that dynamic movement if you needed to. So those are some ways to adjust the exercise. Hopefully that helps. And if you want more ideas for strength workouts and tons of ways to modify them, make sure that you grab my free week of workouts. The link to get it is in the description. Thank you so much for watching.